Welcome guys to the guitar tutorial of Chatan, especially of the beginning, which is this. I played it much slower because there's a lot going on. If you want to skip to just the strumming and the chords that will be later in the video, I'll put the timestamps down below. Half step down, so that's E flat, A flat, etc. So you can do this by installing a tuner app and just getting it to that note. Hear the sound of what you want to play. Hear it in your mind. Get the basics down, which is what I'm going to share, and then let your hands do the rest. All the picking that I did in the intro is around these chords. The first one is A minor. Get your fingers around that portion of the guitar. Fifth, fourth, third and second string. If you get confused like me, you have to kind of sync these two hands together. Where are your left hand fingers? That's where your right hand fingers are also going to be. Plus this string which is the open A. I'm just gonna play it bit by bit. You should play it slowly and then a little faster and then at the normal speed. In the first part of A minor, you're gonna be playing it the way you normally play it. In the second part, you're gonna lift off your first finger and you have this tune going like this. Da, da, da. Those are the added notes, right? So to get that, it'll be second string, second string open, the third string, which is where your third finger is on, so. Now you're going to incorporate that in your picking of A minor. Another thing I should say is I am playing it in a particular way because I have slowed down the song a lot so I'm able to fit in a lot of notes but if you're playing it on the same tempo as the Hindi song you may have to remove some of the notes. I can show you a less complicated version in a bit. So I play it like this. The kind of concept of this is cascading down and then going up, down, up. So it's five, four, three, five, two, three, five, four. Lift off this first finger. Again, two, three, five, four. Now you are shifting a little bit to the third string. Three, four, five, four. That's the first one. Lift off and go up. Let's go on to the next one. F. To get the low notes, you have to play the bar chord. As someone who has very delicate fingers and not too much strength, I am cheating a lot. I don't play the whole bar chord. I play only the first four strings. Same concept, but it is higher up on the strings. So that's six, five, four, six, three, four, five, four. Lift off your second finger. Three, four, five, four, and then shift up a bit. Four, five, six, five. You get me? So once you've got A minor down, the rest has a similar concept, so you don't have to spend too much time on that. Let's go to G. If you can play G like this, then you'll be able to do what I'm telling you much easier. To add in this finger, which you're gonna need for the, for the tune. So it's this plus your first finger on the third string. First you're picking the second string, then you pick the third string, then again you're picking the third string. And on your right hand, an open string, you're adding one on the third string and then you're removing on the third string. Six, five, three, six, two, three, six, five. Then you shift up to the three, add uh, on your third string, three, four, six, four. And then remove three, four, six, four. So the last two sets are the same, but you're adding and removing in that time. So let's do it again. Six, five, three, six, two, three, six, five, three, four, six, four, three, four, six, four. Okay, 
let's go on to the last and the easiest one of all of them to make up for the G is the C transition to C with a B. In the first half, you're playing this chord and then we want to get this over here. Instead of doing something like this, I'm going to just remove this finger and put my second finger on the fifth string of the second fret. And you have the same picking pattern, which is five, four, three, five, two, three, four, three, five, four, three, five, two, three, four, three. It's so hard to say with numbers. I've like done it all by ear and now to get the math behind it is really jumbling in my head. Anyways, this one is, is kind of the same thing, doubled except that you're changing the root. So that's it. So let's do that all again. A minor, three, two, one, go. F, lift off. G, add, remove, C, go to B, B over C, that's what you have it. Now let's do it a little faster, A minor, F, remove, G, add, remove, C, B. There we go, give a big hand for yourself. Now let's get onto the strumming. For the beginning part, initially you can pick how you want or you can do one strum. And then when you go on to the second verse, this is how I strum it. Very insane. You say the words rise up, Yehovah Rapha. My The thing that we have to know behind this is there are some main strokes that you want to emphasize and there are some tiny strokes that you can either remove altogether or you can just give them a little bit of emphasis. It is this dynamics that gives the story to the guitar. If I do all uniformly, it's going to be like this. Very in But if I want to do a storytelling in the guitar itself, I'm going to keep some loud, keep some soft, like this. Very insane. You say the word right up. So you hear the difference, and I want you to identify which ones you're going to make louder and which softer. You can copy mine or you can you can come up with your own pattern. It's if you have a different way you want to tell the song, that's totally up to you. The chorus is similar, I think. I think what I did in the track was I made the verse a little more muted, like... And how I do that is I kind of put my palm over here so it's muting how much the strings sustain themselves. So you just have, you just need a little practice with that. It's not banging, it's very softly. And for the chorus, I let it loose. So I'm just like... So you can just, you know, get a bit more louder and freer with your... <laughs> yeah, the train definitely got louder and freer with its noise. Yeah, you can get louder in the chorus. Bridge. The bridge for the bridge music song is... F, C, G. There's no weapon you could ever hold. And I sit on G, G twice. To come against D minor, chill A minor, the Lord G. To come against the children of the Lord. Down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. Correct? So same for the first two chords and the third chord, it's a little different. And I think, I think that's all about it. Yeah, we got it. Hey, ta-da. If you want me to give you a diluted version of everything, I'm gonna try and do that now. Or if you're done, you can just stop here. Thank you for watching. The picking can also be like this. And the 
strumming can also be like this. Just put a lot of passion and swing into it, it'll sound great. Please, if you are playing this, please record a bit on Instagram or YouTube or wherever and please tag me or send it to me. I do check my DMs. I don't reply always, but I do check them. I would love to see what you come up with, how you sing it, how you play it. Um, yeah, I'm so happy to be able to share this video with you. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. I'm Vian Dumaris and I make videos to help us strive to be like Jesus. I wonder how Jesus would have sounded playing the guitar. It would have been sublime. Let's go and ask them when we're in heaven. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.